This is our final video in this base tutorial set. And what we're going to cover in this one is modulation. In the previous videos, we've covered how to make patches in Massive and then how to process those patches using a whole network of different types of effects. And through the journey of creating our effects, we've set up a whole bunch of different modulation where different effects parameters that are key to shaping the sound are all macroed out. And in this patch, we also have a few other things going on, like pitch bends and vibrato from Massive. So in this last video, I'm going to walk you guys through exactly what modulation is happening. First up, let's check out the modulation that's happening on our main Macro 1 knob. If you recall, the Macro 1 knob is the one that's mapped out to all the different key effects parameters. So we can find out what's going on by double-clicking on our clip and exposing the clip envelope section. If you can't see it, you can just click on the little E here. That'll take you to your clip envelopes. And then you get these little drop-down menus where you can select which parameters you want to look at. And in this case, we're looking at, this is the name of our instrument rack. So we're going to look at that. And the second list, we can pick which macro knob we want to target. And you can see the main one is macro knob one. So we click that and you can see what I've done here is I've gone in and I've manually drawn in these different clip automation curves, these clip envelopes. And what these guys are doing is moving that knob automatically for us. And I've done that just by double clicking and adding breakpoints. So double click, add a breakpoint, you can drag it around and you create your clip envelope. So as we play the clip, you'll be able to watch and follow along and watch that knob in its effects move. <laughs> Okay, so that's the first one, and I've just gone through and spent quite a bit of time meticulously going through and getting these clip envelopes exactly how I want them. Next up, you can see we have a vibrato parameter. And vibrato, let me see if it's happening. There we go. It's only happening at one point right here. Let's listen to it. Okay, you're hearing the synth kind of like wobble. It's giving a nice little vibrato. And if we go back over to our synth, we look at Massive, you can see right here, vibrato depth. If we open Massive up, Massive has a dedicated vibrato parameter. It's in the OSC tab right here, and you can see vibrato. And vibrato has a rate and a depth. So I have the rate set, and then what's happening is I'm modulating the depth knob like that. Okay. And the way I did that and got that to appear here was I went into MIDI mapping mode by pressing Command and M on the Mac, and I just touched it, just clicked that knob, and automatically it showed up right here. And at that point, what I could do is I could map that knob or this parameter to a macro. So I went into map mode here and I macro mapped that to this parameter, this macro knob two. And then from there, I could very easily go into the clip envelope section and I could select right here, our instrument rack. I could select vibrato right there and I can draw in breakpoints and clip envelopes to be able to control exactly how much and where that vibrato happens. Now let's go to the last one. The last one is our resonators. If you recall from the previous video, we have our resonators wet dry amount mapped right here to this. So if we go back to our clip envelope, we can see here I'm using the resonators. And the reason why I mapped the resonators to a different macro knob than macro knob one, where all the other effects are mapped, is because I wanted to be able to control them independently to give the sound a bit more character. So if we go back over to our clip envelopes, you'll be able to hear the resonators come in. Now the very last piece of this patch is some pitch bends that are happening. Pitch bends are very important in making the sound interesting. And I can access the pitch bends just by clicking the dedicated pitch bend button right here. And you'll see I have some pitch bends down, some pitch bends up, and some pitch bends down. Now in order for Massive to respond to pitch bends, I'm just gonna show you one thing. We go back to our main Massive patch. You have to actually tell it what the pitch bend range is. The pitch bend is in the OSC tab. And under OSC, you can see I have a pitch bend up, and a pitch bend down, and they can actually be different from each other. So I've programmed pitch bend up to be 12 semitones or one octave, and pitch bend down to be 24 semitones or two octaves. So what's going to happen is it's going to be able to pitch up one or pitch down two based on where these breakpoints are in our clip envelopes. Let's listen. <laughs> So 
So that wraps things up, guys. I hope you got some value out of that. And always remember, if you're interested in taking your music production to the next level, I'd invite you to come back to my site and check out my Audio Weapons online course, where we learn how to do synthesis, we learn how to do sound design, we learn how to write songs from the ground up together, and over the three weeks that we spend in an intensive training program, you guys get to keep all the samples, all the synth patches, all the Ableton templates, and have live interaction with me as an instructor. So if you're looking to go beyond what we just covered here and learn all of my top tips, tricks, secrets that I use in my tracks that I release myself, then come check out the program, and I hope to see you there. Cheers. Cheers.